Hi guys, welcome back. Is it possible for me now to enter into something called as operate? We are now going to enter into something called as operators, right? We just went through two concepts already that is how to declare variables and how to call the built-in functions of Python. Okay, we are now going to get into how to what are the operators that are available for me in Python and if there are many operators, how do I use them? The first kind of operators that I'm going to use is called as the arithmetic operators. So we have the arithmetic operator. Now the arithmetic operators are those which I can say, let's say a is equal to, now when I say, when I say I'm going to define two variables, let's say a is 5 and b is, uh, b is 4. Okay, so now if I say a plus b, this particular plus, can I say this is an addition? or this is an arithmetic operator which adds two values which the two variables are pointing to. Okay, so you can say 5 plus 4 is nothing but 9. So a plus b is 9. Okay, can I have something called as a minus b? This is subtraction. Then you have something where I can say, can I do a multiplication? a multiplied by b. Then you have, can I do something called as a divided by b? 9 by uh, 5 by 4 is 1.25. Yes, a divided by b, it gives me it gives me a fair enough answer. That's 1.25. It is not the same as those with with other, it's not the same as those with other programming languages. It is always 1.25. It's in other programming languages, it would give you 1. It will give you only the integer part of it. It will not give you the decimal part. All right, now, can, if I wanted only the integer part how would i do it in python python says okay you want to do something unusual like the other programming languages you want to do something unusual which is unsimilar to unsimilar to normal mathematics then he says okay do it with something called as a floor division so you have a a divided divided by b and then it says okay 5 divided by 4 i'll give you just the integer part of it okay i won't give you the you know the other part of it okay so that means that means can i call this this is but this particular division is called as floor div okay now um, so one more thing that i just need to emphasize when i start with floor division so that means can i say 7 divided divided by 3 what is going to give me for floor division it's going to give me 2 right 3 twos are 6 so it's just going to give me the it's just going to give me the integer part of it but um, what if, what if just for, you know, just for exploring into this particular floor division a little more, what will minus 7 divided by 3 give you? Okay, I thought it should give me minus 2. It gave me minus 3. Why so? Because it is following the timeline. Okay, so can you see a timeline? Uh, if I just draw, if I just draw a timeline for you, just like how you used to draw in school, you can draw something like this. Or maybe, you know, you can start off with minus 9, then comes minus 8, then comes minus 7, then comes minus 6, then comes minus 5, oops, minus 5, then comes minus 4, then comes minus 3, minus 2, minus 1, and there we go, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Yes, so you have a couple of numbers from minus 9 to 9. Now, when you do a 7 floor division by 3, 7 floor division by 3, by 3, 3 twos are 6, 3 twos are 6. Okay, 3 twos are 6. It always gives you the answer that is 2. It gives you the answer that is 2. Okay, but with respect to minus 7 divided divided by 3, minus 7 divided divided by 3, minus 7 divided by 3 you expected an answer of minus 2 an approximation of minus 2 it should have been what is 7 divided by 3 actually okay if you say what is 7 divided by 3 actually it should have given me 2.33 what is minus 7 divided by 3 actually it is minus 2.33 okay but over here this one gives you the integer part of 2 that means it gives you so if it is 2.33 where does this answer fall in your timeline it is between 2 and 3 it 
so 7 divided divided by 3 flow division gives you the answer 2 which is to the left of the actual answer that is it is to the left of 2.33 when you do minus 7 divided by 3 it is minus 2.33 which is somewhere here between minus 2 and minus 3 and minus 7 flow division by 3 it gives you again an answer which is which is again to the left it gives you the integer it approximate to the integer which is to the left hope you understand why this is so is that clear okay now there is one more uh, there are two more operators in arithmetic which is other than flow division you have an operator called as modulus let's say modulus is nothing but giving you the remainder after division seven this one the flow division gives you the quotient but this gives you the remainder okay so if i say seven modulus of three what is the remainder one three to the six and then remainder is one okay from seven but now there is something what should this give you minus 7 modulus oh it gives me 2 why so why so it does it it does it because of this particular factor can i say minus 7 divided divided by 3 okay or flow division by 3 is minus 3 which means where does it come minus 7 divided by 3 is this particular minus 3. now can you tell me one thing okay if I can say, can I say 3 multiplied by minus 3, how much is it? 3 multiplied by minus 3, how much is it? Minus 9. 3 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 9. So, it gave you a quotient saying it is minus 3. In this case, it gave you a quotient saying it is 2. So, quotient, if I say quotient, uh, can I say dividend is equal to divisor, divisor multiplied by dividend is equal to yeah divisor multiplied by quotient plus remainder so if i say divisor is 3 multiplied by quotient that is 2 3 twos are 6 3 twos are 6 if i if i multiply both of them okay what is the remainder now what is the dividend now 7 so what should be the remainder can you tell me what should be the remainder 7 minus 3 twos are 6 that is 1 now what is the dividend over here what is the dividend in this case minus 7 dividend is minus 7 that is equal to divisor into quotient what is divisor what is divisor divisor over here is divisor over here is 3 and what is your what is your what is your quotient your quotient is minus 3 so 3 multiplied by minus 3 is minus 9 so minus 7 is equal to minus 9 plus remainder what should your remainder be 9 minus 7 that is 2 are you able to understand why is it so why is minus 7 modulus 3 so you always understand how python calculates it it is calculating it in a little different way as compared to what you can think of so that is minus 7 modulus of 3 last arithmetic operator that you can think of is the exponential operator it is called as the exponential arithmetic operator what does this do i can say something like this 7 exponential is with two stars i can raise it to a particular value let's say 7 square 7 square is 49 okay and if i say if i say 7 7 square that is 49 and uh, and then if i can just say 7 i can just raise it to 7 7 raised to 7 oh that's 8 2 3 5 4 3 so that's an exponential operator hope you can understand the arithmetic hope you understood the arithmetic operators up till now we are going to see a few applications of arithmetic operators in the next in the next video thank you so much